Welcome back to the third part of Let's Play Not Another Needle Contest. Alright, so we are actually on a new version, version 1.11. Piece of Cheese decided to update the game, adding some uh, bug fixes and overall general improvements to the game. So the first thing that I wanted to check out was before we kick off with tier 2, which I'm gonna get to in a minute, um, is I've heard that uh, the, there were additions to the tutorial actually. Uh, so yeah, I just want to check those out for completion's sake and yeah, I'll see you when I get to the new stuff. And here we are. Pushable block. Alright, it's pretty simple. It just shows you that you can push this block in any direction. Alright, so yeah, that was the first new gimmick we are being introduced to. Alright, here's another one. These platforms act as a seesaw when you jump on them. So yeah, we've actually already encountered these um, uh, in the second stage of the game. Um, yeah, used in the uh, like Rookie 2 meme area. But yeah, they, they had a short appearance. So yeah, that's here you can definitely see what they do. And this type of water will only slow your fall. You can only jump twice in it. So yeah, that basically means uh, this water does not uh, replenish your double jump whatsoever. Um, so yeah, it just makes you so you use um, ball slower, as the sign mentioned. All right, you can see the happy secret spec again. All right, so yeah, three new additions to the tutorial. So I'm glad we checked that out. Now let's actually start with tier two. I'm very excited to see what this uh, holds for us. All right. So the first stage, um, place 32, um, by Random Fan Gamer. Uh, it's called League Factory. Difficulty rating is um, not that high. Uh, to 2.5 stars. Uh, the score is 5.4 out of 10. And yeah, no secret to get. So let's let's start. Alright, cool. Alright, I already like the atmosphere of the stage. So, alright, uh, seems like we have a gimmick. If we collect it, um, we'll be able to jump multiple times. Or... Yeah, I guess so. Uh, how much jumps do we get, actually? Like, let me count. One, two, three, four. Four? Is it always four? Well, I guess so. Alright, and we actually have to time it right. I guess, um... Yeah, when the when the sound effects play is actually when we when we get the jumps. All right. So pretty simple, I hope. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was able to get over there. All right now. Um, oh, I think okay. I think this gimmick might be the fire vine, which yeah gives us a speed boost. All right, but the sprite is actually taken from. Um, I want to be the guy where I actually know these vines from. So, alright, and here we have a sonic spring, which launches us pretty high, right? Okay. So, yeah, okay, we've been introduced to three gimmicks so far, and it seems like it keeps going. Alright. So, right now we have a uh, little needle section right here. And, yeah, I'm guessing we want to avoid those springs. Um, they're yellow though, so I just want to see like... Oh, alright. Wait, is that... Is it supposed to be like a small boost? Look kind of weird. Uh, well, yeah, I guess, I guess so. Alright. So, even though it is a small boost, you still want to avoid those. So, you don't get launched into those spikes on the ceiling. There we go. Now we can just use this one. Alright, I like this so far. Pretty simple. This gimmick once again. I'm, I hope I, uh, I'm understanding it right. <laughs> okay, so now we want to time this correctly and run into the spring and we get a chance to roll. <laughs> okay, they're pretty cool. Now let's see, moving spikes here. And, ooh, alright, this, this might be quite interesting. Um, can we 
like cancel the speed? Yeah, wait. Uh, how do I wanna? Oh, I think I have an idea. Oh well, I'll just yeah, I'll just try um to get up there. All right, this clamp was actually trickier than I expected it to be. What do we have here? Huh. Alright. Reappearing spikes, it seems like. So, you wanna get the timing just right for this one. And seems like the top one is going faster than these ones. Okay, we don't have to do the shuriken, just we time it right. So, let's get on top of here. Yeah, okay. Okay, this shuriken right here isn't really a threat. Oh wait, no, I have to actually jump on it. I didn't I didn't realize that. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that screen. Alright. So yeah, I'm definitely enjoying uh, the stage so far. So, good impression on uh, tier 2 so far, definitely. Alright. So this room mainly focuses on these jump pressures, but that was pretty cool, like, you kept the momentum from the from the speed vine there, so yeah, I really like that section, alright, now we just, what, wanna, I guess do this, right, yeah, you wanna, like, time it to the sound effects, I guess, so, you actually get up there, okay, yeah, just have to figure out the timing for that, um, alright, shouldn't be too bad, Huh. It's really cool. So far, really. Enjoying this. Alright, if we hit those springs, I just want- okay. <laughs> Why would I have a- Yeah, horizontal movement with this gimmick is definitely far less tricky. And, well, nice job there. <laughs> well, I almost got over there. Oop. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'll give it one more go. But this definitely should be doable. Take my time, and there we go. Alright. Some timing action here once again. And yeah, use... Ah! Use the momentum again! Nice, that was so cool! In the next room, press G for God Mode and Infant Jump. Huh. Alright. So is it is it an avoidance? Oh, the disappearance from Hatsune Miku is a song it's being used. Now that from Love Trap. All right. So yeah, it gives you the option to skip the cutscene, but let's just uh, look at it once. Why would they give you God Mode though? So I'm expecting this to be hard then. Oh. Really? It's not like oh wow. So it's actually like a platforming boss. Well, a, a chase sequence. Uh, a chase, yeah, obviously. But all right. Dude, uh, do you have like two ways to go here? Dude, this is sick. Like, I just want to check out the this path right here. Like you, ah, uh, you, you'll have to be a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that correct. I want to get it once, please, since it seems like the right path does seem a little bit easier. I just can't get onto that wall for some reason. Ah, oh, you get your double jump back, okay. It should be... Oh, no. That's not our... Possible. It should be possible to get over them then. Or not. <laughs> I'm not really doing a good job on this path here. Like, ah, uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess you wanna jump up there first, so I did it right by accident. Ah, uh, this is ammo. It's like kind of tight timing, I guess. And so far to the left. Um, I didn't keep my double move there, okay. But yeah, we, we've seen um, what that path is all about, but. Uh, Alright, let's just choose the obviously easy one to get over here. I uh, wanna time that right. Okay. 
that. It wasn't too bad for a start. Okay, this section right here is a lot easier. Oh, and now... I'm in love with this already. This is so cool. Platforming followed by, by um, actual avoidance. This reminds me a lot of... Um, I want to call me it. That one area where you have to like uh, keep moving uh, with the screen while an avoidance was happening. Like it was so epic. And maybe this was even inspired by uh, Call Me It. Who knows? Oh, all right. But yeah, I'll definitely not use God Mode for this one. It seems really doable. I guess we'll learn in the review from the judges uh, why God Mode was put into this, or we'll actually get to an attack that's really hard to dodge, and maybe that's the reason. And, ooh, alright. Ah, this attack! Yeah, I know this one. But it looks rather slow. I'm bad uh, if it comes to finding strategies for, the, for these, but I hope it's not get, get that much faster. Oh! Alright, we can cool the raid. Oh no, uh, timing, please, don't let me down. Alright, use this. Hua, right. Alright, this should be dodgeable. Ah, alright. That looked like insane RNG right there, but. Yeah, okay, this wasn't real. More leaks. Alright, pretty simple to dodge. Well, I guess one reason might have been that this. Uh, well, yeah, you can call it an avoidance. It's pretty long, and I guess there wasn't really a way to implement the checkpoints, so it just gave you god mode. Yeah, maybe the length is the reasoning here. So, is it gonna do the same thing for this attack? Uh, which guess I wanna watch out. This seems rather tricky the first time around. Yeah, it's doing the same thing. All right. Oh. Alright, I almost... Ay 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 ay! I... Ah! No! Oh! I'm alive! Please! Ah god, no! How do I live? Oh... Okay... <laughs> Oh no 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 keep going. Or Oh no. All the way just to mess up on that. All right. But yeah, uh, as I said, I want to keep my promise and I'll try to beat this without using god mode. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Like it might be a little bit too hard. Yeah, I can see that now, but um I want I want to try this. I like this challenge. Alright, that's a PB. What? What? No, no! I didn't expect that! That was the end. That was the end. <laughs> Alright, next time I'll be ready for that. See you on the successful attempt.
There we go. Alright. So yeah, that was the boss. And that was also the area. Oh, alright. That actually, that took a while <laughs> to beat. So, I, I gotta say that this is definitely my favorite area so far, just because of that, like, uh, like end boss right there. I, I really love how the um, gimmicks were implemented in there, like, uh, every, like, section where the, the screen moves, like, each section had a different gimmick to it, and um, the only thing that I, I say is that it really desperately, I think, <laughs> should have... Um, had a checkpoint in there, like maybe once reaching the second arena, right? Uh, that could have been a good placement for a checkpoint, since that was definitely the one of the hardest things I had to do in this game so far. Um, but yeah, I like the one attack I always or died on the most was um, those pink cherries with the screen wrapping. I yeah. <laughs> I just really did a really bad job on that attack, but yeah, overall, like, dude, congratulations on this area. I really liked it, as well as like the um, gimmick with the jump refreshers, um, which I've never seen before. So yeah, that was definitely really unique, definitely. All right. Um, so let me actually move on to um, the rating. Judge feedback. All right. Area Random Fangamer The main gimmick of the stage was confusing to figure out for the judges. We added a sound effect to it, but even then, it is probably still not very clear how it works. The boss was also changed from having no HP, since it was decided that it is too long to be reasonable for the difficulty level we are aiming for. Alright. The attacks in the boss are also uninteresting for the most part. Okay, so so there was that. Um, well, I I really wouldn't call the like maybe some of the attacks uh, were like I said the screen wrapping, uh, which got kind of boring after a while, or the leaks and like the cherries that uh, came from above and beneath the player and exploded in the middle. I mean we've already seen those attacks being used in multiple uh, micro avoidances, but I still really wouldn't call that bad. But what made the attacks uh, for me interesting was the like uh, tiny intersect, uh, like the um, basically the parts where you had to um, like flee right to the right, and like th that uh, I really like, love that part of the fight. So, but yeah, I can see that the uh, the gimmick might have been. Um, tricky to figure out. I also just like really relied on like uh, specific timing and the sound effect definitely helped me with that. So yeah, uh, like I said, uh, so far my favorite area and we'll see uh, what comes next, right? So moving on, place 31. Um, this area was made by um, JK Sci-Fi and it's called Gimmicky Castle Black. Or, yeah, I think I read that right. <laughs> okay, so uh, stepping up the difficulty by 0 0.5, um, the score is 5.6 out of 10, and also no secret to get here. All right, let's see what this area is all about. All right, seems like we are introducing the um, vine jumps from Jungle Adventure. These are the slippery ice vines. All right. Uh, the next one should actually um, make me flip my gravity if I use it. If I can get there. <laughs> um, so maybe you want to like save your double jump for that. Well, it shouldn't really be necessary. Or wait a second. I think you might actually need your double jump for the very last. Uh, yeah, to get in into the warp actually. So I. Don't want to use my double jump, really. Um, all right. Uh, this could be trickier than it looks, but I don't know. Let Let's see. So far, it's not really too bad. All right, I need to catch that though. Uh, it's a rather small vine, so timing on that. 
might be trickier than I think. Uh, Alright. Yeah, uh, also those um, black and white lines, like if you use one of them, it, it switches to the one with the lower opacity, um, which makes it unusable. So yeah, they always like switch between each other. I should just... I don't think that was uh, the intent <laughs> intention there. I need to actually get into the slippery vine first, so yeah, let, let's do that. <laughs> Right. Uh, I hope this works. Yep. And jump into it. Nice. So that. Okay. Moving on to um, the shooting block gimmick, or just shooting gimmick in uh, general. Uh, we also have spikes. So I want to do it like this, I presume. Uh, so what do we actually need the water for here? All right. To to get to that upper water spike. Ooh, all right. Well, let's see which spikes. I didn't. Huh. All right. Uh, I didn't realize that I was gonna destroy the spike. I should have shot to the right just to test that. All right. Um. So let's see. How am I gonna do that? Like that, I think. Yeah, that looked that looked promising. And well, something I already forgot that... Oh no, it refreshes your double jump. Alright, that makes the save a lot better. Uh, wait. I can actually... Okay. That. Yes. Perfect! Nice! Okay, that worked out pretty well. Must admit. So... Do I... Ah, oh, no, 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 I need to get down there. I think I just, uh... Nah, I didn't. Alright. <laughs> um... Need to figure this out still. Okay, so... Okay, this spike doesn't get destroyed for some reason. Let's use that to our advantage. Yes! Wait, no. Oh, yes, okay. That was correct, and we made it. Great. Alright, I, I like the use of the gimmick here. It's it's really fun. So I doesn't matter if I shoot this black spike, it doesn't do anything. So shoot this one and get Oh well, Yeah, I should have seen that one coming as well. Oh wait no 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 I shot it uh, to the right already. Sorry, I didn't even pay attention to that. Okay, yeah, so we did everything correctly. So jump here, yeah. Uh, I want to do it like that, so I don't have to do the T-bone action. And what? <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Yeah, okay, this climb looks pretty straightforward. I think it's the same thing every time. Did I want that? Ah. I yeah, yeah, okay. So, actually, I think I also want to shoot all of these black spikes to the left then, right? Yeah, okay. Glad we did that. Wait, do I see a skip here? Oh well then, yeah, that's also possible. I guess I could have prevented that by putting like maybe these spikes uh, uh, here, but yeah, okay. So this is definitely possible and makes it easier. Forgot to shoot the spike right there. Okay, now every black spike should be out of the way, or not. I. <laughs> wow. There's. I. Okay. At least we figured out that this climb is much easier now. Okay, should be done now though. Yeah, so you actually had to move those. That was pretty cool. Also, like the um, aesthetics for the stage. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, right, I'm pretty sure. Oh, right. Um, wait. I could have made that easy on myself, but that yeah, this is indeed the way to go. So, let's see what I want to do here. I can I nah, I can't possibly keep my double jump getting onto that line. So uh oh yeah, I just want to land there, right? Like switch gravity, land here. Yeah. Ooh, okay, this part appears to be a little bit tricky. And that would not have worked, I think. 
Yeah, I... Okay, now I see what to do there. Okay. Maybe I can pull it off right now. Or not. Um, right, but yeah. Once you know where to go, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, let me try it one more time. I, yeah, I didn't catch that, but essentially I want to grab that vine, rest on the block uh, left next to the, to the blue vine, and then just do the drop gate, and we should be done. There we go, alright. So, wait, do we actually need to switch our gravity? Yeah, it seems like it. Lots of mini specs up there. Oh, okay, which makes this part tricky. Okay. I don't know about this. I... Alright, uh, okay, so... Switch... Oh god, please don't mess it up right now. Um, just, yeah. Like that. Alright. Still a really fun area, in my opinion. Okay. Oops, uh, landed on the mini spec there. Right. So we can go here, uh, jump over there. Guess over here next. Uh, I'm actually pay attention to. I okay. That's an unnecessary death there. Just really take my time when I'm yeah when I'm here maybe so okay those spikes switch cool actually I can just jump over like that right perfect okay guessing I need to shoot yeah this one again for the final part oh 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 it's just one block it's just one block please how did that work I don't know <laughs> nice end all right. I... Dude, <laughs> alright. Uh, the first screen made me like worry maybe this won't be as good because it looked like lots of fine gimmicks combined into one screen and looked a little bit chaotic, but that's... I, I really enjoyed that stage. Honestly, it deserves the rating. Uh, definitely it's... Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say, that was just... an enjoyable area, right? Um, alright. Let me see... So, moving on to the area uh, from JK Sci-Fi, um, I'll read out the review now. This one had to be changed a lot from its original version, because the original design was too hard. After the changes, however, the stage became pretty fun, so we decided it wasn't quite tier 1. Even then, though it's short and not too much is going on here. Alright, so, alright, yeah, the, uh, the judges obviously... Um, nerf the area, which made it um, suitable for tier 2, and yeah, I can see that. But I, again, I appreciate the changes that were made because, yeah, nothing in this area seemed frustrating or anything. I had a great time with it. Alright. Um, I think this actually might as well be a long part, um, just because of the uh, longer avoidance in the area made by um, Random Pangamer, but I think we should still have enough time for the for the 30th place. Alright, place 30, um, made by Dubs. <laughs> Alright, um, this one is called Space Needle Zone. So I'm guessing we'll go to space right now. And yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Whoa. Let me actually read the rating. I didn't do that. Oh, right, the difficulty is 3.5 stars, so stepping it up uh, again. Um, scores. 5.9 out of 10, so almost a 6 out of 10 here. Uh, right. So I'm kind of overwhelmed. This looks like a lot of gimmicks at once. So over here we have a laser switch, a vine. Uh, oh, I'm guessing I need to press that. Just okay. This launcher is shooting right there. Uh, these uh, sheep blocks. From, I think as well Mega Man uh, should disappear after I touch them, so I want to time this just right. I can not hit the launcher there. I can't get up there. So my main objective I guess right now is getting the, the triple star. So 
I... I... I messed up. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I didn't realize it, but... I have... I had to use the second, um... Red block right there. Let me see if I can... Pull it off right now. Yeah, alright. So we wanna... Hit the switch again, actually. Like that. Ah. Oh my god! And now that we have the triple jump, it is possible that I can get back to the switch since I have to activate it one more time. I... I'm impressed! This... This is... Well designed, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> It was a really cool first save, gotta say. Wow, okay. So yeah, don't get intimidated by uh, like how much is going on on the screen. It seems like we have a fun area on our hands. So, hit the switch. Right. Uh, now we'll only have one jump, but yeah, okay, this launcher doesn't hit me. Yet. So I wanna do it like this, I think. Appears. Oh, 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 where do I go? I, 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 I forgot that I don't have my normal jump, even though I just mentioned it. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, I guess I for now want to get my double jump back over there. But. That's. Wait, I uh, shoot. I. Uh, yeah, I shoot. <laughs> to, to. Actually, make it over there. Alright, having trouble with this part right here, but it shouldn't be too bad really. I think I'm getting hit by the launcher there, jumping to early, that means. And like that, okay, we got it. So, I wanna get over to that vine now. Shoot again, yes. And looks like the final jump to me. With the saw right there, okay. Yeah, this wasn't really anything less like the true final jump, I guess. Um, right, so we have uh, blocks we can shoot right here. So, <gasps> I see. And, oh, that actually um, lets me, well, that was one of the, um, that, that was one of the obstacles that was preventing me to get to, get to the safe, so. Yeah, okay, I, I um, did that, but now I actually also need to hit the laser switch. So, can I just hold left for this one? Yeah. Alright. So, let me see. Time this correctly. Uh, do I want to collect that? I guess so. Well, I actually could have. Um... No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, 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 this must be right. So. I could actually go over there and um, get my normal, like, get the normal kit again, but, like, okay, so here's the thing. If I do that, I can actually get the triple jump and still make it to the switch, but I think once I'm, oh, right, <laughs> like, once I'm there already, I think I can also use the gravity gimmick to get the switch as well, so there might be two possibilities to beat that save, it looks like. Like, I don't think I can reach that, so... Yeah, like that. But, I wanna see if I was right. I think I could've still... Yeah, I could've still reached the switch there. Okay. So yeah, actually two possibilities. Don't know whether the... Gravity flip uh, to the switch was intended, but it definitely works. And, what? <laughs> well, that's not a platform. <laughs> Just figured that out. Alright. So yeah, now that I've um, got rid of both obstacles, now I just need to do both in one go, essentially. Oh wow, you can actually get there with a double jump. So I guess there is a way to cheese it, but yeah, it's not really worth it. Because I'm dead. Because now I actually also have a triple jump to deal with this part, so I don't even need the platform there. 
Huh, okay. So if you do it in a specific order, this top part is uh, easier. Okay. So I did that. Um, but right now we have also the um, speed gimmick. Uh, yeah, well, I guess if it's there, I'll get the triple jump. Shouldn't really be hard to get. Right now that we have that, it allows us to um, get the switch. Yep, that's basically all, everything we can do. I think I wasted a jump there, but it should still be alright. So let's see if we can... Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I just had to get up there to the yeah. double jump star, I guess. Okay, let's not waste a jump. Well, it doesn't really matter as a mission. And there we go. Alright, into this area. And uh, now we have normal movement speed again. Okay. And I guess... Finish. Right. Okay, next screen. I'm liking this area. It's cool. Um, right, let's walk off. Do the thing. Get over there, actually. Okay, now our objective is once again to hit the laser switch. So we can proceed. I didn't do that right. <laughs> I didn't need that vine jump, but now I'll make use of it. There was uh, okay. Either got lucky there. There was that wasn't that bad. Um, okay, triple jump. And yeah, I'll need that to. Well, first of all, let me get this timing right. Now I hit it twice. No! Just flew into the spike. But yeah, that was... Well, I almost got past the laser. I don't actually see a save. Another save, so yeah. Seems like um, we're stepping up the difficulty a little bit here. Okay, so... Okay, we still have a triple jump, don't forget that. Ooh, no! Ah! Oh, I jumped way too early there. That could have been it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, next screen. Seems like. Um, first up, we have a... Platform jump, it appears to be. Okay, let's switch the gravity. So it's not the gravity flipper which also flips the screen upside down. So let's see. Uh, this is just as we saw in the tutorial, uh, I can't actually jump in this water, it just uh, slows me down. So, what's the goal? Oh yeah, okay, I'm guessing just get over there and shoot the block, jump back, collect the double jump replenisher switch. No, wait. Why is that gravity flipper there? Well, I'm guessing that's gonna be crucial for the second save. But yeah, that was almost the ending. To the first save. Oh, alright, that was close. Almost touched the cherry stair. Um, Alright, next save, so upside down vine jumping, <laughs> I think we had that in the previous stage as well. Um, I, what's, what's my goal here once again? I think I want to jump through the middle actually, yeah, switch the gravity and survive. <laughs> um, I think that makes sense, okay, can rest here. Go down. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that catch me by surprise. I, yeah, there were spikes under there. <laughs> this platform is actually great. <laughs> okay, why not? Just uh, scare people. <laughs> That's funny. Right. So, oh, still messed it up. <laughs> In the end. So, yeah. 
after I hit that switch, I just wanna get back to the second save, and yeah, that, that should be already it. <laughs> I like that smiley face. Uh, okay, so jump over. Avoid the fruit a second time, but this time with the uh, correct gravity. I like that. Okay, yeah. Seriously, this this second save should be easier than the first one. Like, uh, in my eyes at least. But, I don't know. Still messing up a lot. Well, this could be it. If I don't mess up this jump. Yep, alright, there we go. Not too bad. Um, I like how these spikes look. <laughs> like, it looks like they have a little, a little bow on top of their head, right? A little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, right here, we also want to get the trophy jump again. Uh, do I want to keep my double jumps? Somehow, I don't think. Well, it could work, like, like that. Um. But maybe that wasn't necessary because there's actually a vine right here, but, well, I think it makes it a little bit easier. Anyway, so yeah, I uh, <laughs> didn't quite make it on top of the platform again, but yeah, I think I already know what I wanted to wait. I'm, I'm just curious whether that's like a thing, oh, well I guess I was lucky enough to have like the correct line or something. Like, obviously it's not free and you, you shouldn't do that, but... It's a possibility. <laughs> God, all right, I'll. I'm getting punished for cheating. <laughs> I'll just uh, stick to the internet droid. Let's see if I can actually catch that vine. I, I can't. Apparently. I think what you wanted you to do is to rest here and then, yeah, then get the star. But I don't know. Since there's a vine where, where the star like is uh, placed, um, I think there are actually like, multiple ways to make this work. I'm pretty sure you can just uh, use the bottom one to get onto the top one, but it seems to be tricky to get that. But yeah, I th I think it's possible, but let's, let's not do that if you don't have to. Finally, alright. So here, aha, uh -huh, use all of the jumps, refresh all of the jumps by clipping into that platform and then like that, and there we go. Okay. <laughs> That's probably um, the best clear screen in the game so far. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> wow, alright. Yeah, these two areas right here were lots of fun with how they were designed uh, using um, various gimmicks. Uh, really fun gameplay. So, yeah. Had fun with all of them. And again, the, the avoidance uh, uh, made, made in this area, made by a random fan gamer, was really impressive to me. But as I mentioned, would have been a little bit better with the checkpoint, but I guess that's why they have, the judges have implemented drop mode, right? So, okay, last review for the day. For the stage of dubs. This stage has some interesting applications of the gimmicks, but it was slightly unfavorable with the judges due to some awkward jumps and ambulance segments. The visuals are also a bit messy, yeah. That's what confused me at the start, but like if you just look at the stage for um, how it was designed, it's actually a pretty, pretty good stage. But alright, so I'm guessing yeah, the judges also balanced a few segments here and there to make it more enjoyable. Alright, so yeah, that was that. Um, alright, so I hope that part's not going to be too long looking at my recording um, over two hours. Um, well, <laughs> Just hoping. Right, but yeah, uh, alright, finish the first half of tier 2 and we'll definitely uh, clear the second half in the next episode. Alright.
hope to see you for that and take care watch it because that now one that's your habitat and the first day in the city that give me that you hang in the city to do on the day of the sky was it goes with everything between us and that's all was never seen bring a mask why you ask me to do that's just that